song yes are you guys ready yes. yeah it's gonna be awesome it is all right ready let's start okay god he made everything he made everything he made you and me on the first day, the first day, said let there be light, called the light day, the light day. The darkness was night, and it was good, it was good. God said it was good, it was good. On the next day, the next day, He made the sky blue, split the water, the water. And that was day two, and it was good, it was good. God said it was good, it was good. On the third day, the third day, God formed the seas, He called the lander, the lander, and made all the trees, and it was good, it was good. God said it was good, it was good. For God, He made everything. He made everything He made you and me God He made everything He made everything He made you and me On the fourth day The fourth day God made the light he made the moon and stars, the moon and stars to shine through the night, and the sun he made, sun he made to light up the day, and it was good, it was good. God said it was good, it was good. On the fifth day, the fifth day, the sky filled with birds, and the fish came, the fish came as he spoke the words, and he blessed them, he blessed them, and said, multiply. The seas up, the seas up, and the blue sky, and it was good, it was good. God said it was good, it was good. God, He made everything, He made everything, He made you and me. God. He made everything He made everything He made you and me On the sixth day The sixth day 
The land filled with beasts like the cattle, the cattle. And the creatures that creep, yeah, God made them He made them And sent them their way, all this happens, happens On the sixth day But God saved the most important thing for the end He made man and he called him his friend So we formed him Formed him from the dust of the land. Yeah, he made him. He made him with his very own hands, and it was good. It was good. Very, very good. It was good. On the last day, the last day, he got to rest. He was finished. Was finished. And this day was blessed. He beheld it. Beheld it. For all that he made, and this happened. On the seventh day, and it was good. It was good. God said it was good. It was good. God, He made everything. He made everything. He made you and me. God. He made everything He made everything He made you and me God He made everything He made everything He made you and me ground. In the Middle Ages, butterbur was used for a plague and fever, and in the 17th century, it was used to treat cough, asthma. Recently, it has been used for urinary tract symptoms, stomach upset, headaches, including migraines, hay fever, and other conditions. This flower is azalea. Azalea are flowering shrubs. They are in the family of evergreen plants with blooming spring. These flowers are ladies of the valley. Lilies of the valley is a woodland flowering plant. It is scented, painted, bell-shaped white flowers, which blooms in spring. Lupin is a flowering plant. All widely cultivated, both as food source and as ornamental plants in a large part of Australia. They are used as food for poultry and pigs as it contains proteins 
smell the soybean, but that's fat. These are called Japanese snowballs. This flower is found in China, Japan, Korea, and Taiwan. It is a popular ornamental plant. Both it's in native area and elsewhere in temperate regions. The flower heads resemble a snowball giving them a popular name, Japanese snowball bush. These are called iris. Plant which takes its name from Greek which means rainbow which is also the name of Greek goddess of rainbow iris. It's a popular garden flower which blooms in spring. These are called anemonistra and these are called bay lilies. Snowdrop anemone is a flowering plant that blooms in spring. It is native to meadows and dry woodlands of Central and Western Europe. Daylilies are flowering plants. They are actually not a lily in spite of their name. They typically last about a day. The flowers open in early morning and wither the following night. These flowers are called primrose. Primrose is a flowering plant that blooms in early spring and they have nice scented smell. These are called blue stars. Live in the blue star is a found most often in wet, sandy, rich, open and rocky woods. Its star like a flower opens up in late spring. They grow best in full sun. Thank you and God bless. Hello friends! Happy Java! Today, I'm about insects. Let's go! What's that? Butterfly. Where's the butterfly? Butterflies are beautiful flying insects with large scaly wings. They undergo a complete metamorphosis in which they go through four different life stages. Egg, larva, pupa, adult butterfly. Butterflies have taste receptors on their feet to help them find their host plants and locate food. Dango mushi. Show mommy, where's the dango mushi? Oh, it's here. Tango mushi or roly poly in English are little blue gray critters that live under rocks and logs and roll into a ball when they are disturbed. Their job is to decompose materials from dead plants and animals. Ant. Ant. Two ants. Two ants? Two ants. There are more than 12,000 species of ants all over the world. An ant can lift 20 times its own body weight. Ants don't have ears. They hear by feeling vibrations on the ground through their feet. Ladybugs voraciously consume plants eating insects such as aphids and in doing so, they help to protect the crops. Their distinctive spots and attractive colors are meant to make them unappealing to predators. Ladybugs can secrete fluid from joints in their legs which give them a foul taste. What's that? What's that? Spider! Spiders are arthropods that have eight legs. They create silk from spinneret glands in their abdomens. 
Spiders uses a web to catch their prey which are usually insects. They are all beautifully created by God. My name is Mia. And my name is Elfin. 
today we are going to talk about ants. Yes, ants. Do you know there are ants that are no bigger than a grain of sand? Yeah. What a tiny animal the ant is. Yeah. Even though they are small, they work more and they live longer than any other insect. Yeah, insect. Yes, they are all very hard working hard and they gather food for the colony. Yeah, the colony. Yes, do you know the ants are not selfish and they work for common good. Ants have no one to direct them, but they are very organized and united. United. Yes, organized means arranged or structured in a systematic way. And united means joined so together. Together. As a group. As a group. Yes, if people are united, they all agree on something. Something. Have you ever seen how the ants move? How they yeah. gather their food? Yeah. Let's have a look. Okay. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never zoom on the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. place. They walk in rows so neat and orderly that there seems to be someone directing them. They resemble soldiers marching, right? Marching. Yes. And you know, they know how to find their food. Find their food? Where do you think the ant lives? A hole. Yeah. Most of the ant species live on the ground. Yes, others live in cavities that they make in plants and trees. Trees. Yes, to start a new ant colony, the queen flies to a certain place. Then it makes a hole in the ground and lays its eggs. That's right. From the eggs are born little Lava. Water. Yes, they look like little worms. The queen ant feeds them herself. Within a few days, the tiny white lava are transformed. When they mature, they awake from their sleep and become worker ants. Hmm. Very soon, the worker ants are in charge of the work. They do it so the queen can keep laying eggs. Yes. Do you know the Bible talks about ants? Yeah, and it talks about Jonah and the whale. Yes, that's right. In Proverbs 30 verse 25, it says, Ants are creatures of little strength, yet they store up their food in the summer. Yes. So what do we learn from the ants today? 
They are tiny but they work hard and they are organized. Yeah. They are also united. United. Yes, we can look at the end as an example of how we are to live. Yeah, to live. Another verse in the Bible in Proverbs 6 verse 6 says, Go to the end, consider its ways and be wise. Ants work hard even without supervision. They plan ahead for times when they will have less food. Less food. Yes, it would be wise for us to be the same way, right? We should not waste our time but work diligently. Right? Yeah, yeah. How can right. you work hard like an ant when your mommy asks you to do something? Clean up. Yes? You can quickly clean up without complaining. Yeah, complaining. If you have siblings, you can work as a team. Yes, you can work as a team. Work yeah. together, right? Yeah, as a flat team. Swat team. <laughs> All right. The ants work hard and plan ahead. Ahead. Yes, as Christians, we should work hard and do our best to please God. God. Now, boys and girls, JJ? Yeah. Let's have a word of prayer, right? Hold your hands, close your eyes, and bow your head, okay? Let's pray. Dear Jesus, Dear Jesus, thank you. Thank you. For the example, for the example of work, work, work that the end that the end gives to us. Give to us. Help us. Help us to be diligent. To be diligent. And hard working. And hard working. Help us. Help us to be to be good disciple. Good disciple. We love you. We love so you much. so much. Amen. Amen. Meh. I hear something. 
something. Can you hear something, friends? <laughs> I can hear my lamb. That's my lamb. I can really hear it. Here is the lamb. I found my lamb. I love my lamb. Isn't my lamb cute? Yes, she really is. On which day did God create land animals? Yes, he created on the sixth day. Every lamb is a land animal. Do you know when a lamb is a baby, it is called a lamb. But when a lamb is grown up, guess what? It's called a sheep. So the sheep is just your baby. Here we go, your yam. Look at its fur. It's really soft. Look at this. Do you call these feet? Now, we call them cloven hoof. So, some animals like deer, cattle, pig, lamb have two main hoofs on each of their legs, and together they're called cloven hoof. Do you know where lambs live? They live in one home that has three names sheep pen, sheep cot, sheep. Fold. Do you know what lambs love to eat? Well, they like to eat grass, you know that. But they also like to eat fork. It's a long leaf plant. This is a fork. Look at it. It has long leaves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight long leaves. And this is also kind of a fork. Look, you can see those green spots. Do you know lambs love to stay in a group together as a big family and the group is called a flock. We love to stay with our family, right? That's what lambs love to do too. Do you know we can use lambs fur but we can only use it once in a year, or the lamb would cry if we use it in a month. Do you know who cuts lamb's fur? Do you think lamb cuts its own fur? No, it does not. There's a person called a shearer who cuts lamb's fur. And the process is called shearing. After the shearer cuts, the lamb's fur, cut, 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 it is taken to a factory where it is washed clean, rub, 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 and, and it is combed straight and nice. Like when we comb our hair, it becomes straight and nice. Likewise, that's what happens to lamb's fur. After it's cold, it is taken to another factory where it is woven into yarn or wool. This is called wool fabric. Wool fabric is a natural fiber. Natural fibers are obtained from plants and animals. And wool is obtained from an animal. And the animal is sheep, right? So some examples of woolen clothes are a sweater, red sweater, a stove, this is a stove, it is kind of a scarf, a jacket, of course we love jackets in winter, and of course some gloves, look at this, these are two gloves, one pair of them. And do you know, when woolen fabric is dry, it is really light. But when it's soaked into water, guess what happens? It gets really heavy. So let us see this experiment, how the woolen fabric gets heavy. So I have a mitten and another mitten. See, this is really light. So I put it in. And I take it out. Look at that. And look at this. I can toss this up and down. Can I toss this up and down? No. 
So this is really heavy. This is a this is what happens when woolen fabric is soaked into water. It becomes really heavy and it becomes heavy because it absorbs lots of water. So let's recall what we learned. We learned how lambs and sheep bleat like. <laughs> We learned what what is this? This is called cloven hoof. We learned where lambs and sheep live. They live in one home that has three names: sheep pen, sheep cot, sheep fold. We learned they love to live in a big family called a flock. We learned that they love to eat four. That's their favorite food. And they love big grass. We learned who's the person who shears lambs fur. Shear work. And what's the process of cutting lambs fur? Shearing. We learned how the fur is made into woolen fiber. We learned how woolen fiber is light when it's dry and it's heavy when it's soaked in water. We learned, we learned that, we learned how the fur is made into woolen fabric and how it is clean and washed nicely. So, who takes care of the sheep? Yes, it is a shepherd. Who is our shepherd? Yes, Jesus is our shepherd. Because when we are lost, Jesus will find us. And the shepherd always takes care of his sheep. Bye bye, I'll see you next time.
today I'm going to sing Psalm 91. I will dwell in the secret place of the Most High. I will stay in the shadow of your wings. For Lord, you are my refuge, my tower of strength. My hope is in you, secure thy stand. You will deliver me, your truth will be my shield. Jesus, you cover me, in your love no fear prevails. You will deliver me, your truth will be my shield. Jesus, you cover me, in your love no fear prevails. No eagle, no terror, no arrow, no play shall ever come near me. For you are my safety, my hiding place. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. Thank you. Mom.